We've got everybody else. So, it's over to you now, Ms. Starter. Two, five, four. Steve Ryan makes it to the first corner. Which is more than you can say for Noggin Stevenson. He gets slammed into the wall, but he bounces off. Now then, 254, Ryan's in trouble here. Oh, and he hits the fence hard. And the other Cornish boys know what to do. And in goes 74, Adam Hitchcock. And now, the demolition has started. And they're not banging off for nobody down there on turn four. Oh yes, the Cornish boys and the Hampshire boys getting stuck in. And I wonder, I wonder if, oh, 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 bloody. Well, that restart. And uh, straight away, 6.37, Dan Smith is going in. And uh, oh, there's a big jack down there as well. Both of the cars involved in the first bend attempted smash, survived. But Smith's having another go. And the North Cornwall boys putting on a good show here. Ringwood boys were expected to. And Reese Field is now leading the race from Dan Smith. And Dan Smith, surely he's got it this time. No, that is brilliant by Reese Fields to survive this attack. This is clever driving. Who needs drifting? Finally spins him out. And so now, 637. Dan Smith is our race leader, and skipper Jamie has turned it round because he's waiting for Reese Fields. So they know, they know, and here we go, and off! Now that's what you call an head on. We're halfway through the race, but I think we might be there. And coming around this time, it's the checkered flag. We have our first winners. Well done to 637 Dan Smith and the North Cornwall Motor Club.
27, Dale Hughes still has a big lead. For the gladiators, top, top draw. Oh, what a head on down there on turn four. Some of the drivers know they've got some serious repair work to do. Oh, my goodness gracious me. Well, they're not taking any prisoners out there. And still, I'll tell you what, I'm amazed it's lasted this long. This is a tremendous effort by both sets of drivers. Dale Hughes is halfway there in car number 27. Oh, and the Reds are out. The Reds are out. The Reds are out. We've got a stricken driver on turn four. The Reds are out. And uh, 27, Dale Hughes then leads. And uh, he's in charge for the Wrecking crew plans combo. Meanwhile, Michael Adams uh, having a good old go there at 5 3 and beautifully spinning him out as Richard Coe going on to the centre. Good to see a 5 3 9 Michael Adams. There's a big hit for Noddy there and oh, an even bigger one for 688 Steve Collins. The man who actually bump started him and then tried to bury him. Three minutes to go now. Big head on there. And a jacking as well. Here comes Dale Hughes with three laps to go now in car number 27 for the Glads slash Wrecking Crew. Well, this is brilliant tactics by the Gladiators and the Wrecking Crew. And number 27, now look at this, they're protecting him round at the pit bend. He's got one in front, he's got one behind. And then when it's safe, they let him go. Have we got any cream team A or B left? That is the question. And it looks like Michael Outen is the last survivor, but not for much longer. Oh! And uh, a bit of Turkish there for Michael, but that actually may have helped him. Has it got him back in? Meanwhile, number 27, Dale Hughes, has got one lap to go now, Sharon. He's on his final lap. This is a comprehensive performance by the Glads and the Wrecking Crew. They've been wise now not to overly smash their cars up. But anyway, never mind. <laughs> let's, let's do it anyway. They were, they were battling out with each other then, but Oliver got in ahead of Smith. And 27, Dale Hughes wins it for the Glads and the Wrecking Crew. Straight, that's, a, that's a very nicely turned out. Oh no, here we go. Oh, Michael Maskell. Over 20 years now of racing experience for this young man. And can he do it? Who's cheering for the Midnight Runners? Here they come! And there they go! That 341 car, that's the same colour as the money team, is in fact racing for the runners. And on the back straight, Tom Waller leads for the money team. And oh, he gets clipped. And then there's a big head on for whoever did him. And Mark Marchant takes up the running. It's 592 in the lead from number 10, 577. And then a trio of runners. Wow, now then. Harry Rawlings doing his normal psycho blitz there on turn four, but I wonder if that's it for Harry in this one. Five white men racing next. Oh, and some big hits down there. That was Cornish taking a big head on, but surviving. And here they come again. As, as uh, Jonesy goes crashing on turn four. We're halfway there. Oh, what a T-bone by Boxer Jack on Tom Waller. Oh, that was well out, that was. 5-9-2, March of these. Here's the whole of the Midnight Runner team in front of him. And here comes Jonesy again. Oh, and Marchant seizes the initiative. But I think he's just written his own obituary because now they've got him. And they think it's all over. Well, it is now. 
<laughs> what a great effort that was. No! He's still running! Oh, no, that's Jonesy. Oh. Oh. Oh, well. OK, well, what an effort by Mark Marchant. Great effort by Mark Marchant. Number 10, Paul Whiteman, comes round to win it for the Midnight Runners. Sixteen on thirteen or fifteen on fourteen, whatever it was. Before that, there's a standstand. This is Redwood. And straight away a spin for Bergen on turn one. Oh my word! Someone's found the wall. Ratcliffe picks up another one of the Redwood boys, they, and, I, and I think Ratcliffe clipped another car there going in. But he bounces back. He's still going, and so. Oh no, and he's going all the way in. So stands at a 3-1 um, up on cars here. Let's see what happens here. And a little faint, a little gummy there by Alex Ganter. And he's decided, oh, oh. I'll tell you what, mate, you'd be better off doing the laps. Don't do head-ons. Oh, well, he's done the head-ons, and now he is a sitting duck. And he may say something. The rhymes with that, we shall see. He's backed off the first head on. Great effort, hasn't he, boys and girls? And here he goes again, another one on the nose. And he survives again. And it, this, this, this could be, well, they could get each other. I, I tell you what, this one, this one, here we go, this is it. Oh, no! And nine, and, oh no! That's the checkered flag! However, we just need to be clear, the cream teams need to be clear that uh, it's only... So, 5-7 now for the doing what he does best, running. Jack King's an early spinner in car number 39. And here we go, here we go! Well, they're not backing off, are they? So, bad luck to whoever that was getting headed on there by Jack King and it's 5-7 Alfie Lee who leads as down on a barrel goes in to finish off the sandwich there for the money teams to but Maskell piles in as well oh and it's a proper jacking train this cannon has a go in 2-24 so 1-4-1 one one. absolutely big swing down there but the others are still running and it's 5-7 Alfie Lee with the lead for the money team. Uh, the other's running man nicely. Two at night, Tom Waller, and uh, four, four, nine, I think that is, Billy Crittenden dead as well. Going well, it's Michael Maskell. Almost upsets his teammates. Cannon still running. And meanwhile, Daryl the Barrel has a go on the pit bend and puts one of the money team in the fence. And we've got a new leader, it's 209 Tom Waller for the money team. Just gone through, Shane. Oh, I say. And a big one there on turn four. Ricky Hutton as ever getting stuck in, but here comes down the barrel. Oh, it's just slightly mistimed that one, and Ricky Hutton is able to defend. Now here comes Billy Standing. He can't defend that one, and Billy Standing. Puts in a big hit as down the barrel goes to Mickey Maskell. We're halfway there and it's all beginning to liven up now. I tell you what, we've only lost three cars. So, oh, and a big launch there by Crittenden on barrel. Here comes the leader. It's 209 and 577. The leading pair. Oh, 688 puts a big one in there. Good hit. Wow. Steve Pollard. Maskell has been mullered. And there's Tom Waller going through again. And Alfie Lee's been done. Alfie Lee's been proper done now. Here comes Cannon. Who's he after? Oh, a big head on for Maskell. 
And now only 12 cars, but they managed to block the track. And here comes Tombo, straight through. Good man, but he may have bent it. Last lap for 209, Tom Waller. As the cream team and the money team have their own DD on turn four. 209 with half a lap to go now. And look at the state of that. Can he finish? Maskell trying to move Billy standing out of the way. Tom Waller coming around now for the last time. He tries to barge Billy standing out of the way. And oh, what a hit work. And it's cocked out. He needs a push. Waller has cocked out. Yards from the line. He's lost drive. He needs to get a teammate to push him over the line. Oh, my word. A dramatic finish. Maskell could yet play a part here. He's been chief wrecker and wreck, but 327 is needed to push Waller over the line. Here we go. Maskell is going to push Waller. Can he do it? Can he get him over the line? Here they come. Are they in the final? Yes, they are. The money team win. building it and then keeping it going throughout a meeting but if you look on the track now these are the teams and the guys that have done it most successfully today but spare a thought for the others in the pit area all of sound round turns three and four let me hear you now let's hear it on the dvd afterwards make some noise here they come it's the mayor ford banger team final and there's the green flag at 900 Hughes boys at the front, 27 and 294, but wait a minute, they're in different teams. Meanwhile, on the paint straight, more crashes going in. But it's 27 on the home straight, World Champion Corners get stuck in. And here they come again. And it's 27 and 294, 10 and 341. So Dale Hughes leads the Hughes at the moment. Four, five, seven. McCormack gets in the way of Lee Hughes. Whiteman gets through on, on the inside. Hughes punts McCormack wide. And it's all very cagey from the Glads. The runners are running, but the Glads are already setting themselves up. Once they see, once they get. And so has Simon Smith, and they're after Boxer Jack. Oh no, he's got away with that one. Five laps to go, that's all there is. Just five laps to go for number 27. So, Dale Hughes is leading a charm five here. 27 leads for the Gladiators. In second place, it's number 10, Paul Whiteman. Ahead of Hughes and Jones for the runners. But second, third, and fourth is nothing. Meanwhile, Smith is demolishing Boxer. Oh, oh another big head on there. And another T-bone. Well, they're all piling in, but now 27. Well, this is incredible. Dale Hughes has only got three laps to go, and there's no one to stop him. Number 10, oh, so to go now. Dale Hughes is winning it for the Glads as the wrecking crew and the Midnight Runners get stuck into each other. Dale Hughes is winning it for the Glads. Number 27, Dale Hughes starts his last lap. He's on his final lap. What are the runners doing? Number 27, Dale Hughes, he's only got to get round turn four. One more time. Who's going to stop him? Who's going to... It's Whiteman! And Whiteman's done him! Whiteman's done him on the corner! Whiteman does Hughes with two 
100 yards to go, and here comes the rest of the wrecking crew. Oh my God! Oh no! This is incredible on turn four. And Hughes has got it running. Hughes has got it running. But Jones has done it. And two nine four. Lee Hughes wins it. Two nine four. Lee Hughes wins it. For the runners, what a finish! I thought they'd gone out to the teammates, but, but they remembered. Oh, and the reds are coming out. Five hours, so I'm not sure if he reverses it, if that's a good idea. Is it? The race is on, or is it? Five Four World's already turned it round and reverses into the traffic. Good lad, we love you. An early pick for the Entertainment Award. Meanwhile, Phil Smith is running in 549, and the Glads of the Wrecking Crew are crashing on turn four. 549, the race leader, and oh! And again, get in there, four wheels off the ground with that in there! Oh! Well. Tremendous stuff on turn four. A number of drivers going for it big time. And uh, the leaders in the middle of that as well. But there he emerges. It's almost no, it's not. That's not it. It's not that it's smalling. Oh, a big head on there for uh, 205, Alex Ganter. And uh, is anyone going to do 10 laps? Are you serious? Oh, yeah. It's, it's just going, going to go into a DD here. So in goes Boxer and squeezing through. Well, here comes Marcus, T Brown and Boxer. Joe Barrett squeezed through, but I'm not sure how much further he's going to go. Uh, so far, Phil Smith has done a lap, and that's it. And now, Simon Smith has done a lap. So we. Okay then, well, we'll scrap the race, it's just a DD now. And uh, what happens is, here we go! Hey! And here comes a big end, oh no! Ooh. Here comes Boxer, who's he after? I think he's, uh, he doesn't, he's not sure. In they go again. Oh, and another one from Simon Smith. That was on Rob Setters. So 900 still running. He only started with three wheels, but he's still got a one, seven, four. Dave Osborne still running. So a wrecking crew. Oh, and a big hit there for uh, Jamie Pickett. Oh, I'm sure he can. Oh, yes. Oh! What a hit by Simon Smith! Absolutely brilliant!